Whatever game you're playing, it won't work. You can't defeat me. No, I know. <sighs> but he can. No! What's up you sluts? It's your boy Tyler, and today we're going to talk about infinity. Infinity is big. Think of the biggest number that you can think of. Infinity is bigger than that number. If you took all the numbers that ever existed and added them up and then multiplied them, the result would be more than 100. There are an infinite amount of numbers and an infinite amount of numbers that have a 2 in them. So if you took all the numbers that had a 2 in them and subtracted them from infinity, you would still have infinity numbers. While you wrap your head around that, let's move on to an even more complicated situation, Magic the Gathering. It is possible to do things infinitely in Magic the Gathering. There is no official rule that states a maximum turn length. So if you are losing, you may take an infinite amount of time during your turn forcing your opponent to concede due to death by old age. There are also cards that cause infinite loops. Let's say your opponent has life and limb in play, causing all forests to become 1-1 sapling forest creatures. On your turn, you play Spore Mound. Now whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you can create a sapling creature, which remember is also a forest sapling creature. So you put your land down for the turn, a forest, triggering Spore Mound's ability, forcing you to put down another forest, triggering your Spore Mound's ability, forcing you to put down another forest, triggering Spore Mound's ability, forcing you to put down another forest, well, you get the point. Eventually, your opponent, who is certainly regretting his life choices, will have to use the bathroom while you are generating an infinite amount of forests. Being the polite person that he is, he will more than likely leave the room while you continue your infinite loop. While your opponent is away, you can steal all of the best cards out of his deck. That way, when he comes back, you can show him that his deck has less than 60 cards, and he will have to concede. And you won't have to take out a second mortgage to buy an infinite number of forests. Now unfortunately, this strategy will not work in Arena. In order to win an Arena, our turns are timed, and many of our opponents are playing on their phone while they are using the bathroom. This makes it difficult to steal their cards. In order to go infinite in Arena, we will need what's called a non-recursive infinite loop. This is a loop which we may close or may not close when we choose. For example, if we have Scurry Oak in play and then play a Rosy Cotton, we can put a plus one plus one counter on our scurry oak, and then we have the option to create a squirrel creature token. Once the squirrel token is in play, Rosie makes it so we can put another plus one plus one counter on scurry oak, and then we may make another squirrel token, repeating the cycle. You see, just like a junkie who has sold every valuable possession they have ever owned, we can stop this anytime we want. We can create 1 billion squirrel creature tokens and increase our Scurry Oak's power and toughness by 999,999 mil- by a lot. Another non-recursive loop is a little more complicated. If we have an Altar of Dementia in play with Samwise Gamgee, 
we can play Cauldron Familiar. This will create a food token. If we sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar to the Altar of Dementia, we can sacrifice that food token to bring back our Cauldron Familiar. And when the Familiar returns to the battlefield, we get a food token, and we can sacrifice the Familiar and bring it back and get a food token and sacrifice it again. Each time this happens, our opponents will lose one life and mill one card. If we do this 20 times, our opponents will lose the game. Finally, we have a loop which would be recursive and infinite, except it closes itself. Amalia Benavides Aguire, which I guess is a name, makes it so whenever you gain life, you explore. Wild Growth Walker makes it so when you explore, you gain life. You see where we're going with this. This would be an infinite loop between the two, except Amalia doesn't enjoy such nonsense. And she kills everybody when her power equals 20. Now I filmed a few games this morning and tragically didn't have enough time to create 1 billion tokens or loop a cauldron familiar 20 times but I uploaded the footage of what I was able to film. Now, if you like creating non-recursive infinite loops, please like, subscribe, and see a therapist immediately. Is that a fucking cat? Ma! Yo, there's a stray cat outside! Ma, there's a weird fucking stray cat outside! It looks, it looks like grandma, the fucking thing! But that's a fucking cat! Blink, motherfucker!